So when it comes to measuring your body fat, uh, there are a number of ways you can measure the body fat. You can use the calipers, have someone experience do it on you, that way you don't mess it up. You can go to a nutrition store, stand on one of those little machine things that uh, scans your whole body. Uh, you can use the bot pod, you can use a water tank, but the problem is most of those are inconvenience. So far, the most convenient way that we've had is uh, using one of those smart fitness scales that you can just stand on in your bathroom and it tells you what your body fat is, your body composition in, in, in general. But what I notice is that most of those uh, scales, actually all the scales that I've tried, I've tried about five of them uh, from Amazon, most of those scales are not accurate when it comes to someone a little more fit. Uh, it's weird but the more body fat you have, the more accurate it is and the more fit you are the less accurate it is and recently Samsung came out with his watch that's supposed to be about 98% accurate uh, and that was one of the main reasons why I got this watch to see if there's a convenient way I can uh, measure my body fat I did the in-body analysis with a machine and I'm gonna be comparing it to how it stacks up against the Samsung. Is Samsung accurate in terms of BIA? Stay tuned. So the big question is is the Samsung Watch 4 accurate in terms of body fat? Well I did the test and here are my results from the uh, from the nutrition store. It says that I'm currently 12.1% body fat, which is you know kind of decent. But according to my watch, I'm at 21.3. So the short answer is no. It's not accurate for people a little more fit. If you have a little more muscles on you. The watch 4 is not going to be a very active source for you to track your body fat. However, the numbers are a little consistent. So if it says I'm 20% body fat, it would I would know that I'm 11 point something percent body fat in you know in reality. So it does give, uh, keep a good track of the differences, your changes in body fat. However, if you need it to be like you know I'm saying like exactly accurate this is not gonna be you know the thing for you it's a small smart watch you don't expect this to be as good as the gold standard it's just not gonna happen the technology to make this a gold standard is it's, it's kind of far right now you know but anyways uh, so yeah the short answer is no it's not as accurate so in my next YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys my garage gym, what kind of equipment I got, where I got them from, and if you're looking to build your own garage gym or just a little spot where you can work out at home, stay tuned because you're going to want to see where I got all this equipment from and to give you a good idea of what you want to have in your own garage gym. Overall, it's a pretty good small watch. Uh, it's the most comfortable small watch I've ever owned. Of all the small watches, it feels the best. It's got a lot of apps, it's very fluid, running the Android Wear. And as far as fitness, it doesn't just do body fat. It tracks all your you know, regular steps, your heart rate, your sleep, your blood oxygen. And even when working out, it just feels so comfortable that it does not fall out. So yeah, it's pretty solid. It is important to know that this is the band that it came with. Now, some people complain about this part right here. You know because uh, because it doesn't bend quite like the active 2 you see how that bends but this one has like a curvature to it so the complaint is that when you put on your hand on your um, hand there's a little bit of gap right here for some people they feel like it's a little too bulky but for me it's actually perfect because I often sweat on this part and I like the fact that it bends but as you can see, you have different band options that you can use. You can use a whole bunch of, uh, you know, different style of bands for the watch. You don't have to use the one that came in with it. 